it was that age old thing. I went up to um, the, the gun shop and you walk in there only to buy bullets and then you walk out, end up having spent a stupid amount of money on a rifle scout you probably don't need. But yeah, this is a Zeiss uh, Conquest V6. So um, yeah, it's not the top of the range one they do, but you know, I'm, I'm not I'm not made in money. So it was nice to sort of just, you know, go mid range and upgrade from, to honestly, what I've got is quite rudimentary scopes until now. Um, but without that, it was, you know, pulling in the amount of light it was, you just take the zoom out and it literally sucks the light in. It's incredible what it does. It's almost, you know, it almost doesn't feel like it's, you know, it's it's not thermal or something, but it's, it's fantastic. So, um, yeah, hats off to Zeiss, that did the job. And we're five minutes after you took the shot and I can't call now. So it's not and I can't see you, you're totally blinding me at this point. So, yeah, we are pitch black. But in terms of the scope itself, I mean, would you have been able to shoot in that level of light with your last scope? Possibly? No, no way, no way. It would have been, and also, I mean, it might have been able to shoot at a silhouette, but, you know, we're not... We in the deer stalking business aren't taking, you know, we're not shooting at silhouettes. We want to identify our animals and make sure that the right animals are taken before we shoot them. So, having a, a piece of equipment, yes, it's expensive, but I mean, if you're doing a if you're doing a job, um, you know, if you're a professional deer stalker or or even an amateur deer stalker, um, just going out and enjoying your own meat, you know, identify the animal is is crucial. And having a good bit of equipment that draws in that amount of light uh, is very important. So yeah, definitely well worth it.